I would have talked about one of Hankish's work, which is the uh, trap of the missing hero, because I remember on, we were on the way to Lake Balaton with my parents at the time when the Skodas and Zhigulis and the uh, Ladas laden with uh, suitcases, and obviously these used to fall off the top of the uh, cars. But as a historian, I would have talked about the heroes we have, for example, the hero square that we actually have, which is the central location for uh, politics. And if you think about the fate of uh, Franz Joseph in 1990, he set off, uh, but uh, instead of the Gabriel uh, Archangel, there was a seven meter high mox. Uh, statue and then the emperor on the way back in 1926 uh, uh, in his uh, procession but without his crown he was standing there um, for the next 20 years and what Hungarian historians can uh, uh, do with this problem of uh, identity but uh, Imresh uh, uh, said uh, that Morni uh, you were to uh, talking in such uh, sort of a dry fact that uh, the gossips are missing. Okay, let me show you then uh, a couple of gossips. One being that, or rather that a story, which is the walking uh, coats, winter coats. So uh, there were yeah, three people I remember. Uh, Shigrei was the last uh, owner, a, a nobleman, and he was actually, he lost uh, his, not just la his life, but his head uh, in battle, and Kozinci wrote about him, and we decided, some of us, uh, especially Peter Bokanyi, to discover and, and ex uh, research, and uh, people said that uh, he was not a prominent figure. The other interesting figure of this uh, palace uh, is Sándor Tatai, who actually uh, operated a workshop there for graphologists. This is a, a palace, uh, a noble palace. The facade was created in the 18th century and never would have imagined that Tatai would end up there. And the data we uh, came across in the uh, uh, Kurszeg uh, local paper uh, and there was an advert put, a small ad put there, who, in which he advertised himself and his graphologist services, and he was so popular. And uh, Tatai is an author. Obviously, a lot of people know his work for youth uh, novels. He was very successful. He was quite a strategic strategist. So he basically questioned the maids and then he once he found out everything from the maids about the family then based uh, on the stories he could then tell the, uh, his uh, take on on all the the families so everybody was shocked how much he discovered from from the mere handwriting the third story is a story of a spy a, uh, a lady spy and his and her uh, husband was a consul in Istanbul in between the two world war in 42-43 basically they knew that she was coming or traveling to Hungary and he, she was working for Churchill and they took a letter delivered a letter to Sokocic but straight after the delivery basically was revealed what her mission was and she was uh, imprisoned, and she was also sent to the Gulag for a few years. I only shared these stories uh, because with you because these buildings uh, not only have rich history and stories, you could even call them gossips if you wish, but I think they they more like very strong Central European life stories of faith. Thank you.